News. indeed. I have the gentleman behind that specific film, DJ Lapos. He is a Christian rapper and a DJ best here in Kenya and you'll be joining us here on set. It's so good to have you here. Pleasure to be here. So that's your song, um, Inaweza. 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 Song. What, we'll get to that, but right now, introduce yourself to Kenyans, so, uh, apart from just being a DJ and Christian rapper. So my name is DJ Lapos. I am a Christian rapper. I am a DJ and uh, I use music to preach and teach the gospel. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So take me through it. Um, did you study music and production in university? Take me back to your university years. Uh, definitely not. What I did, did you study? I, I did a degree called Being Around, <laughs> <laughs> Bachelor of Arts. Uh -huh. So, uh, but basically music has been everything I've wanted to do. It, it's, it has been my, I can say my work because because work is, is more towards the purpose mm -hmm. that you have. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I did my first, uh, my first gospel song in 2013. So when, 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 when did you fall in love with music? When did you know that this is what you want to do for the rest of your life? Definitely, the normal, the normal things that people go through when you're 12, when you're 10, you're laying out some uh, Kimbo uh, stuff. These are those, those cabinets, you just play them, you just drum them, and then you just realize you you love music. Mm -hmm. Every song that comes up in the radio, you, you sing along to it. Are there so, instruments uh, that you play? Not yet. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think, I'm, I'm more into the singing and rapping mm -hmm. and DJing. I can say maybe de uh, decks are the only things that I play because mm -hmm. uh, I'm also a DJ. <laughs> so what so makes a good DJ and a good rapper? What are the skills that make a good DJ and a good rapper? Basically consistency and uh, talent. Definitely the talent has to be there and the skill. So does that mean tomorrow morning I can wake up and decide I want to become a DJ? No, mm -hmm. uh, depends. You have to love music to become a DJ, mm -hmm. first of all. You have mm -hmm. to love music because it involves, it's, it's a career that involves music entirely. So definitely if you are not so much into music, you'll not l find yourself loving it so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So all right. Mm -hmm. So the song um, Inaweza, yeah. take me through it. What inspired the lyrics behind that song? It's, um, it's a song that, that it talks about I speak in second person. I speak about someone else who, who is going through something, and and uh, through this situation in life, he always they are asking themselves, "What are you go? Why is God? Why while I'm going through all this?" So I I wrote it in in a way that it it uh, at the end of the day it shows that 
um, above all, as long as you have in your heart that God is leading your ways, you'll make it. it I, I wrote it from a Bible verse that is uh, Proverbs 10.22, which says that uh, it's the blessing of the Lord that makes you rich. So if you want to become rich, definitely you need the blessing of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So the, it's not, and, and after that it says that hard work without the blessing of the Lord does nothing. So God has to bless you so that you can you can receive. Mm -hmm. so that's what the song is about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take me I, a bit through some of your other songs. There's a song called Muganga. Yeah, Muganga. And you're telling me Muganga means healer in Kiswahili. Yeah, it now, means healer. My Kiswahili is not the best, but mm. how Muganga does it does it really mean healer in Kiswahili? And it's a song that uh, it's a gospel song. Yes, I th I think if you go to Tanzania, uh, when in the hospital. Sometimes they're, 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 I've seen one written like a doctor, Muganga. But is in Muganga, yes, a doctor, but used for the dark magic? Uh, not really. There's, there's, uh, it depends how you phrase it, because uh, in this context, it was not uh, about witchcraft, because there's Kuna Mchawi na Kuna Muganga. Uh -huh. So Muganga is, uh, is someone who, who uses, who treats in a way. So in this context, is, it uses the name Ganga to show that Jesus is the one who heals, that Jesus is the one who, 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 who can deliver you from all what you're going through. So it's, I wanted to use, to be creative in doing that. I didn't want to, and I also wanted to, it to be musical. And as, as much as I am a gospel artist and a DJ, I don't want to, 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 to give out something that is boring. Definitely, you have, to, you have to be artistic when you do it. You have to be creative. So uh, definitely, it uses uh, Muganga means that Jesus is the healer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How was it, it, it received? Use... How was this song received? This specific one. It was It was. Uh, it was one of the songs that made me known in the gospel industry, the gospel ministry. And uh, it w that, that was in 2013, uh, 2013 through 2014. I did up to around 2015. I did a few songs up to 2015. I went on a break. I didn't go on a break willingly. I, it's life journey. I, um, for two years, I didn't do music because I was going through a wilderness. Because what were you doing those two years? Tell me about it. I was. Um, what happened? Uh, I, uh, I got into a few drug addictions. I got into. Uh, I, I was struggling with so many things, and I thought that at the end of the day, you. I, I, I felt like alcohol could solve my issues. Mm. I felt like uh, smoking could solve my issues. So I embarked on that. And uh, for two years, I, 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 I didn't do any music. Uh, at the time when my career was just starting up. So definitely, I, I've come to realize that uh, the devil has a way of, 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 of seeing a star in you. When your star is a bit shining, you can just come and just steal something away. Cause, so the um, stresses of life is what made you um, go into that. I, I, I can not not really. It's just I can say it's just uh, more of peer pressure, peer pressure. more of uh, what the young people are going through at the moment. Cause uh, there, there is a lot of drug abuse and uh, sexual immorality, and uh, I thank God because I went through that because. Through that, I got to know more about God than I know than I, I used to know more about Him. So, how did you get yourself out of that addiction? If someone is watching and they also want to get out of it, how did you get out of it? Uh, I tried to get it out of it without involving God. How that's, so? That's that's how I tried to get. It. But first, I tried to 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 renew my mind. I tried to do so many things, but it couldn't work. So I I had to go back to the first love, I had to go back to Jesus. So I used to cry to him every day. I used to, to, to pray that I would be, get delivered to all, from all the addictions that I had, uh, okay. alcoholic addictions. And at the end of the day, it, after a while, I got delivered. And it, you, it, is, uh, it is the reason why I have my faith in Jesus. Wow. If someone asks me why, why